What is up guys, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian and welcome once again to Lisbon, Portugal. Yes guys, I'm once again back in Europe. This time I'm back for good though. Uh, if you guys have missed it, I actually moved to Portugal. I've talked about this in one of my previous videos. Essentially what I did is that I moved here to a digital nomad visa and now I'm starting my epic Russian immigrant life here in Portugal. Now uh, <laughs> I'm here in a beautiful park here in the center of Lisbon. Decided that I'm going to take you guys outside today and, uh, and I want to essentially take you guys through my journey of moving here over the past two insane weeks of my life and also give you guys a little tour of my apartment so uh let's go check this out guys by the way pretty beautiful building here a bunch of uh people always hang out here like skaters or whatever people who you know go outside and do that fitness and workout stuff i'm not one of them guys i'm fat as right now <laughs> But yes guys, I did rent an apartment here in Portugal and essentially, well, how do I put it? It's kind of a minimalist style apartment, if you could say, uh, because, well look guys, I'm just gonna show you, okay? Alright guys, what up? Welcome to my uh, minimalist apartment here in Lisbon, Portugal. Check it out. This is what a minimalist apartment looked like. I eat on the floor, as you can see right there, there's a KFC uh, fucking uh, thing on the floor there. Uh, <laughs> so yes, beautiful, beautiful minimalist apartment once again in uh, Lisbon, Portugal, you guys. This is how uh, YouTubers live, right here. This is where I sleep, in this box right here, you guys. <laughs> I like it, you know, once again, I do like to keep it minimal, to keep it minimalistic. Um, the kitchen is usually the uh, most uh, lived-in place here for me as a minimalist, as you can see. Uh, I got some souvenirs also. Serbia, Stalin. This was a gift from Katsu, the YouTuber, the legend. <laughs> Georgia, some more from Georgia, Armenia. However, when it comes to, you know, this is my working quarters right here, my working area. This is how, you know, this is where the magic happens. This is where all the brightest ideas visit me. This is my working space. I like to sit here on the ground. I like to uh, come in and out of the closet several times per day. Continuing with that tour here, we have the uh, bathroom. And last room here, amazing walk-in wardrobe, you guys. Look, guys, any, any wardrobe is a walk-in wardrobe if you, have, if you try hard enough, so... Uh, Yes, another amazing room here in this minimalist apartment in Portugal. Yes, finally now we get, you know, shit shits in. This is a chair, a table. It's nice, it feels nice to sort of start a new, build a new apartment for myself. And uh, essentially, IKEA is essentially glorified Lego for adults, right? Because you're basically putting something together, you spend a little time on it, and uh, it's nice. Although sometimes it is a pain in the fucking ass. Suka. <laughs> All right, guys, five seconds later, surprise, surprise, there you go. Finally, some sort of start has been given to this living room, because, yes, otherwise it's uh, super barren right now, and I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the echo. I know if you guys can even hear a single word I'm saying right now, honestly. So yes guys, essentially my apartment is completely empty and I basically had to buy completely everything. But I know that the thing that is the most interesting to you guys is obviously the rent. And before we get to that, I would actually like to give you guys a word from our sponsor, Fume. When it comes to bad habits, a lot of people struggle to break them. But the people over at Fume have taken a different approach to the situation. What if we just took our habits and removed all the bad from it? And that is exactly what the Fume flavored air device does. Fume is a completely natural system with no batteries, no electronics and no chemicals involved. It essentially has a core inside which you can replace with multiple different flavors which are all very great. My favorite is the crispy mince because it is very minty indeed. And also one thing I love about Fume is that it's great for fidgeting and doing stuff like this. It even comes with a base that is essentially just made for you to fidget with your device. So yes, breaking a bad habit is often pretty difficult to do, however, Fume makes it quite easy and enjoyable. If you guys would like to try it yourself, then go over to tryfume.com slash nfkrz or scan the QR code on screen and use code nfkrz at checkout in order to get 10% off of the journey pack. Once again, that is tryfum.com. Go over there and use code NFKRZ to get an additional 10% off from your order. Huge thanks to Fume for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Okay guys, we're back and uh, now finally let's get to the pressing question, the thing that everybody is asking for. How much am I paying for rent? Well, uh, <laughs> look guys, to put it short, it's 1600 euros a month. 
Yes, guys, I know, I know, I know. I am dying on the inside just as much as you guys, but the thing is, I actually got a place in the suburbs of Lisbon, so I'm not like trying to live in a city center, obviously, here. I'm not living alone. I did need an apartment that was pretty large. I wanted to actually to have a room for myself as a sort of an office, a working area, so to say, right? So this apartment was just the perfect choice. I could have once again, like many people have suggested, decided to not live in Lisbon, the capital city, and instead moved to a smaller town or like a village or something, right? But look, guys, I'm young, okay, still. 26 years old pushing 30 i like to be you know out in big cultural cities and everything right so i don't know i just wanted to try lisbon as a capital i just want to give it like a year okay and then we'll see if this rent is worth it right it's just the guys i don't see any points for me to spend so much time preparing for this move and getting the visa and everything which is a very difficult process and then essentially move to a place that has like no civilization you know what i'm saying not implying that other places in portugal don't i'm just saying that the capital you know that's usually where it's at But yes, guys, since the apartment that I've rented was uh, completely empty, minimalist, you know, obviously I had to hit up the good old Ikea for furniture. And Portugal, you know, unlike Russia, does have Ikea. So yes, it was a lot of fun for me uh, to see it for the first time in years. I mean, literally, the last time I've been to Ikea was in 2021. I love being a grown-up, you guys. But yes, guys, this is what uh, being an adult is, I guess. You have to buy furniture now. And it's kind of an issue, in my opinion, because, you know, I kind of want to be, uh, you know, a mobile digital nomad that can, you know, move on a whim anywhere, in any country, kind of, you know, because it's like, you know, since my country has gone to shit, my country that I've lived in for, for 20 years, you know, I have, like, I almost kind of have, like, a trauma now that I think that every country will go to shit that I live in. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I have to always, like, be ready to take off from any place. That's kind of, you know, the trauma that I have now. This is kind of a problem, right? Because now, you you know, I have not just tripods, lighting, whatever, right? Or clothes, right? Before, this was the most that I've had to my name. Now, I'm gonna have, like, a sofa, a bed, a table, this and that, guys. I don't know. If I'm gonna ever have to move country again or ever move anything again, I don't know how it's gonna happen, quite honestly. It's like, you know, the things that you all end up owning you, but... I guess, what's, what's the alternative? Sleep on the floor? <laughs> and also another thing that I was excited for at Ikea, obviously, was the food, the meatballs. You know, I haven't had that since, like, 2018 or something, so... Uh... Alright, guys, here we are, finally. Of course, of course, when you go to Ikea, you cannot skip the, uh, the meatball. I got a vegan one because, of course, I am a soy boy. We all know that, so... Uh, I wasn't actually going for soy. He just offered to try it, and I thought it was nice, so... Uh, cheers! It's not bad, it's pretty good. Let's try the mashed potato. It's good, it's better than I remember. I think it's all like for me. So after a few of the initial visits to Ikea and choosing everything, I actually entered a sort of a new stage. Now I had to sit every single day from like 1 to 5 p.m. in my empty apartments waiting for IKEA deliverers to come in, for like Amazon deliveries to come in because I ordered a bunch of shit because obviously once again the apartment is empty. Essentially it wasn't a lot of fun, every day was kind of more of the same thing. I also got sick because of sitting on my ass in my apartment <laughs> on the cold ass floor. <laughs> Yes, here's a trusty mattress from Ikea. Not even taking the plastic cover off. Not, and, nothing, and nothing feels like your bed in your apartment. So yeah, guys, this is how a famous YouTuber, millionaire, no fuckers, bangers, Russian oligarch, this is how he lives. If you guys are thinking about not donating, do a super thanks underneath this video, please just, you know, think of this image. Think of this poor man. <laughs> And also one thing that happened is that the weather just completely went to shit. I mean, you know guys, I was moving here to Portugal and everybody was telling me that Portugal, you know, weather is perfect. My friend who was living here actually for like one and a half years, he was messaging me like in March, weather is just perfect here, you gotta come here. And as soon as I came here, essentially they had so much rain here that it was like flooding in the city. It was fucking insane basically. And uh, I actually learned that they even have a phrase here in Portuguese, em abril aguasmil, which means in April, water by the thousands. So I essentially came here in the most rainy bad season possible, but uh, check it out guys. Still pretty cool. Today is a rather warm day, so I got a chance to record this. Palm trees and everything. Thing. beautiful beautiful i mean portugal is just like uh it's a remedy for your eyes because it just always looks so good and it's always so green for me as a person who you know lived in a country where eight months of the year you have shit outside and brown instead of green all of this is you know just really really awesome to me
But yes, obviously the process of moving itself is rather annoying, especially when you move into a, a new country. You have sort of, you have to figure out your immigration issues at the same time, and you also have to get your apartment furnished, basically. But the thing is, even deciding where to put this table here in this room, in itself, was already like a, a task that took like two hours, trying out different locations and whatnot, right, to fit all this in. And now, you know, it comes down to deciding what furniture to buy, where to put it, you know, what size it should be. And that is actually really, really difficult. So a lot of the times, you know, it's not even the financial aspect of it, because you're like, I'm down to spend money, you know, I'm moving in, I'm setting my life up, it makes sense, but it is difficult more on the side of uh, what the hell do I even buy? and how do I make this empty room feel like an actual livable place, you know what I'm saying? I mean, guys, look, I had to switch out like three different Airbnbs in like one week. And essentially, it's not fun. Like having your entire life in such disarray where you don't know what the fuck any of your stuff is. You have to constantly move your shits around from apartment to apartment. The entire working schedule is also fucked up. For me as a YouTuber, that's, that's been a problem. So, fuck man, like having your life in such disarray, which, you know, moving to another country brings, I mean, guys, it's kind of fucking like mentally telling, quite honestly. So, every day is a chore, every day you gotta do something, but that is why I'm trying to make content out of that. At the end of the day, though, I think no matter how hard it is, I will thank myself later for the hardships that I've gone through. My first days when I moved to Georgia trying to you know get an apartment there and get a bank account there and everything fuck those were some rough rough times but now looking back at it years later at this point yes it has you know contributed a lot to my life and I'm glad that I went through that so I'm here though in Portugal in Lisbon so uh, at the end of the day it was all worth it so yes, I've had an insane last two weeks as a result of all this. And these insane two weeks actually ended up in me applying for residency here. Hey, hey guys, what's up? I'm here in a coastal town of Cascais in Portugal. Yes, guys. The ocean is like right there, basically. You see, like a Ferris wheel. I haven't been there because the weather is absolutely ass. Yes, guys, here we have the beautiful Portuguese sunny weather. It's incredible. It's amazing. I'm sunbathing as we speak right now. But yes, basically the reason why I'm here right now in such shitty weather in this coastal town of Cascais, I just applied for my residency so uh it was a long process had to stand in a line in the rain guys i'm dying we're dying because of this fucking rain so uh <laughs> basically i apply for my residency let's fucking hope that things go well See you again. So yes, you know, fingers crossed. And this is actually one of the main reasons why I actually ended up moving from Georgia to Portugal is that in Georgia it's actually rather difficult to get a residency if you're a Russian citizen. Now, people do manage to get it, but I didn't succeed in it. I had a great time in Georgia. Georgia is essentially, you know, it kind of feels like my second home country at this point. I kind of feel like I'm at least 10% Georgian by this point, you know? Kart velivar. But yes, obviously I just wanted to be in Europe because it's been my dream for so long to be able to travel to Europe freely at all times and to be able to make content for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. I gotta be honest guys, right now I'm exhausted, but I'm also excited. I hope that you guys are going to be along for the rides. I hope you guys are not going to be too mad at me for uh, my living choices and with how much rent I pay because... <laughs> I don't know guys, I feel fucking bad saying it and even like, I feel bad saying it to like my parents and my relatives as well because fuck me, coming from Eastern Europe where like my parents don't even, have never seen that kind of money it's fucking scary, it's fucking weird to be out here in this position and I hope that soon enough I will be able to get back into the fucking grinds finally built my entire apartments to the fullest and uh, come out with amazing content for you guys but uh, walking around like a schizo in the park is uh, probably the only content that I'm currently able to provide to you guys with uh, the level of uh, mental uh, exhaustion that I'm currently in. But yeah guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy taking this little weird walk around the park in Lisbon with me and uh, me <laughs> once again complaining about my life that is actually pretty fucking good. And the only reason why this life is good is because of you guys, because you guys watch my videos. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath <laughs> from walking on steep hills here in Lisbon. But uh, again guys, when I'm standing here and I know it ain't much, I'm just in the park which is like the most basic fucking thing, but I, again, I still kind of don't fully believe that I actually managed to pull this off and that I'm here. And once again, if it wasn't for your guys' support and a bit of my work too, let's be honest, but uh, if it was not for your guys' support, none of this would happen. So uh, thank you guys and uh, I'll see you soon in my next episode of Russian Immigrant Adventures in Europe. <laughs> Peace.